Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about what is API testing. Many people on my channel requested me to make a video on this topic from long time. Finally today I'm making this for you. So this video is going to be my second video on my playlist API that is application programming interface. I'm sure that you guys will learn something new today and I'm giving a guarantee that I'm going to teach in such a way that you guys do not have to go anywhere else in YouTube. So let's get started. Guys also before I proceed to this video make sure that you guys have seen my API video. Without watching that I request you guys do not jump into this video because you guys will not understand this video until and unless you have a knowledge of API. So in this video I'm going to talk about less about API but more about API testing. I'm assuming that you guys have a knowledge of API. In case you don't have, please watch this video and then please come to this video because I'm going to talk only about API testing in this video. Let's get started. API is nothing but it is a logic that developer has written it and now being a software tester you are testing it and you are verifying that whatever the business logic was there it is meeting the expectation or not. So this is called as API testing. API is nothing but it is a logic that developer has written it and now you are testing it that is called as API testing. In short word API testing is nothing but testing the API that developer has developed is called as API testing. But to understand fully the API testing I want you guys to watch this video for next 5 minutes. I am giving guarantee that you guys will understand completely what do you mean by API testing. Guys any application that you see API is nothing but it is a logic application programming interface. It is a logic that developer has written it backend. And any application that you see it is composed of two elements that is your backend and frontend. Your backend is nothing but API that means the logic that developer has written it and the UI that is frontend that is nothing but user interface. Like what you see from your eyes in your any application let Let's take an example of any application. Let's take an example of WhatsApp. Let's take an example of Amazon. Let's take an example of Flipkart. I am naming these applications because you guys are very much familiar of these applications. So any application that you see with your eyes, any application that you are able to see with your eyes, whatever is visible to you with your eyes is called as user interface. So that is front end. Now coming to back end which developer has written it and that is called as API the logic the actual logic is called as API and testing that backend part testing that logic that developer has written it is called as API testing now since you have seen my this video it will be easy for me to make you guys understand what do you mean by API testing I want to make you guys understand API testing in two ways any ways which you understand is good in my first way of making you understand what is API testing, guys understand any application that I am developing. Let's say any application that I am developing for the first time. I will make sure I have two teams that is my UI team and my backend team. Now front end team will do the job of how UI should look, UI, how user interface or how look and feel an application should be there. This is a job of my user interface and now there is a backend team. What is the job of backend team? Their job is to implement the API that is application programming interface. Logic they need to develop it. And guys once backend team has developed the logic that is once backend team has developed the logic or once the backend team has developed the how API should work. Now it is the job of a software tester to take those APIs which my backend team has developed it and finally test it. Now testing the logic that developer has written it that is called as API testing. Once my APIs are working perfectly fine that means once the logic that developer has written it it is working actually fine then finally what I will do as a company I will integrate my backend with my frontend that, that means I will tell my UI team or I will tell my front end team or start integrating your full integrated software with the help of your back end logic. Now UI team will take those APIs which is already been tested and verified by my software testers. They will start integrating in the UI and then what your final software will be ready and finally your software will go into the production. This is how it works. So. This is the one way of making you understand what is API testing. If you understand this well and good. 
that means you have understood api testing in case you you have not understood this part let let me give you one more example to make you understand api testing very clearly now since you have already seen my this video making you understand api will be very easy for me now guys understand like i have developed an application being a company i have developed some software now to authenticate my users let's say guys uh, just like amazon and flipkart tomorrow i'm launching an application just like the functionality will be same as flipkart and amazon but my the name of my company will be different let's say the name of the company will be mkt let's say just give an example so i have launched a company just like an amazon or flipkart i have launched a company called as mkt now in that application i am allowing my users to log into the application with google authenticity guys you you would have seen that in many application when you download from play store it will only ask you to log into the application with google what you will do you will enter your gmail account you will enter your password and you will be able to log into that application right similarly the application which i have developed it the application which is mkt i'm giving an option to the users either they can log into the application with their mobile number or else they can log into the application with google authenticity now now since i'm taking the google's help to log into my application i am avoiding my developers work to write the code from scratch to log into the application right so what i will do i will ask google team who has already written api or who has already written logic to log into any application i will just consume their api in my mkt application and with the help of google authenticity or with the help of google api or with the help of google logic i will log into the application mkt now with the help of this i am avoiding the code to write it once again from starting i am avoiding the work that developer should do for my authenticity and what i am doing i am just utilizing the google api or i am just utilizing the google logic in my application and with the help of that user is able to log in so being a software tester of my mkt application my job is to just check whether i am able to log in from google account to my mkt account or not to my mkt application or not so integration of my two application that is my google's api and my mkt integration between them that is allowing google's api to log into my mkt application is called as api testing if you guys understood this part well and good guys i have tried my best to explain to you guys what exactly is api testing i hope it is very much clear to you guys now let's go ahead to understand how developer will write apis now guys let's understand if my company name is mkt as i said that my um, if my company name is mkt now developer has to write a logic to create a user maybe to create a customer in their application so how developer will write a code is their host will always be mkt that is http that is mkt and then since they are creating a customer so they can write like create customer create customer now to create a customer this will be their url now they cannot create a customer just with the url so for that they will take body in this so what they, they can take is they can take first name they can take last name they can take mobile number now my developer has developed a logic or an api he has developed it to create a customer to create a customer in my application whose name is mkt he has developed this is how they they develop the logic guys so they are developers are developing they are creating an api to create a customer and for that the input that is required is first name last name and mobile number with the help of this three they can create a customer so they have developed an api and they have they have given this logic to tester now how tester will do testing is while testing this logic and guys if you have seen my this video i already said to you guys that api testing cannot be done with ui that is user interface will be missing when you do api testing and to do api testing there is a third party tool just like postman with the help of which you do api testing so in that you need to enter this url you need to enter this body or parameters and this parameters value you need to pass 
That means I will give my first name, let's say Ram, and my last name may be Pandit, and my mobile number can be anything, any 10 digit number. And finally, I will see in Postman whether a customer is getting created or not. So, my response this is my request, guys. This is my request which my developer has developed it. The request which developer has developed is, is nothing but an API or a logic. Now, if I give this URL in the Postman with this parameters, with this values, the response should be customer should get created and the created customer when you go and check in the database that customer should be created in database there will be a tab called as first name last name or a tab will be there for customer this customer there will be a tab from where you can go and check whether customer is really created or not so this is how you do api testing i hope i am very much clear to you guys and guys if you remember my three layer architecture of my api from this video I said that there is a business logic right now testing that business logic is called as API now developer they will develop this business logic with a set of URL which I just showed to you guys now developing that business logic with a set of URL with a set of inputs and finally checking the response whether it is correct or not is called as API testing which I just showed you guys very easy definition which i'm giving you guys since in api your user interface will be missing you use third party application you use third party tool just like your postman or soap ui to test your api with the help of which you send the url with its body or with its parameter you send the request and get the response you note down the response and you match it whether it is as per the expected result or not and that's complete your api testing guys software testers only perform api testing and while doing api testing the code by which developer is written that will not be visible to you and since the code will not be visible to you while testing it it is also called as black box testing time now the question arises while doing api testing what and all things are there that you need to keep in your mind Guys, to start with API testing, the things that you need to keep in your mind are you need to make sure what is the request you are sending and how is the response coming and the response which is coming whether it is meeting the customer expectation or not. Whatever the response you have got, you need to validate that perfectly. You need to validate that whether it is how my customer is going to consume it or not. So this is one of the most important thing while doing API testing when you are sending some request and when you are getting some response the response should be in such a systematic manner it should be in some systematic manner by which my customer are going to use it the meaning is you remember I said you guys that when I am developing an application called as MKT I am consuming Google API right while consuming their API what we are doing is the response we are consuming it right while doing api testing you need to make sure that the response you are getting is meeting customer expectation or not or else you need to make sure that whatever response you have got it you tell your customer or your other companies who are going to use your api to consume your body as it is so this is one of the main thing that you need to keep in your mind where you need to verify the accuracy of your data response while doing API testing, you also need to make sure that the response status codes, the response HTTP status codes, whether it is correct or not. Now, what do you mean by HTTP status codes? I will be telling in maybe next video. For now, you just understand that while doing API testing, this is one of the major things that you check whether HTTP response is correct or not. You guys also need to make sure that your response time under which my request has given the response is matching my customer expectation or not response time you need to validate that or in case my application is giving some error you need to note down that you need to create a bug and give it to a developer developer should fix it and any error that is coming in the response is not a good thing is not a good practice in case you are getting any kind of error you need to get it fixed by raising a bug and telling developer to fix it you guys should also make sure that the authenticity is correct that is if you are allowing any other company to use an api 
you need to give the authenticity to each and every customer you need to give a particular api key with the help of which they should be able to consume your apis you need to make sure that authenticity is correct and you guys also need to make sure that the application or the api that you have developed is secure or not how you can do that since you will give api key to different different partners or maybe to different different companies to consume your api you need to make sure that if a particular api key is given to one particular company they should be able to consume your api with the help of only that particular api key and with the help of any other api key they should not be allowed to consume your api this is one of the major thing that you need to keep in your mind while doing api testing guys this is all about api testing i'm giving you a guarantee that this is all about api testing and you guys have not missed anything else i'm giving you a guarantee that this is all about api testing there is nothing which is away from this api testing i have said you each and everything if you guys have understood this video make sure that you guys give a big thumbs up this video Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. In case you have any kind of doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section. Thank you guys.